Hello, my name is Mrs. M. I'm a youth services librarian at the Detroit Public Library with another fabulous tale. The tale today is The Three Robbers by Tommy Unger. The Three Robbers. Once upon a time, there were three fierce robbers. They went about hidden under large black capes and tall black hats. The first had a blunderbuss, the second had a pepper blower, and the third had a huge red axe. In the dark of night, they walked the roads searching for victims. They terrified everyone. Women fainted, brave men ran, dogs fled. To stop carriages, the robbers blew pepper in the horse's eyes. With the axe, they smashed the carriage wheels. And with the blunderbuss, they threatened the passengers and plundered them. The robber's hideout was a cave high up in the mountain. There they carried their loot. They had trunks full of gold, jewels, money, watches, wedding rings, and precious stones. But one bitter black night, the robbers stopped the carriage that had but one passenger, an orphan named Tiffany. She was on her way to live with a wicked aunt. Tiffany was delighted to meet the robbers. Since there was no treasure but Tiffany, the thieves bundled her in a warm cape and carried her away. They made up a soft bed for her in a corner of the cave, and there she slept. The next morning she awoke to find herself surrounded by trunks of glittering riches. What is this for? she asked. The robbers choked and sputtered. They had never thought of spending their wealth. So to use their treasure, they gathered up all the lost, unhappy, and abandoned children they could find. They bought a beautiful castle where all of them could live. Dressed in red caps and capes, the children moved into their new home. Stories of the castle spread throughout the land. New children came or were brought each day to the doorsteps of the three robbers. The children grew until they were old enough to marry. Then they built houses around the castle. A village grew up full of people dressed in red caps and capes. These people in memory of their kind foster fathers built three tall high roof towers, one for each of the three robbers. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story of the three robbers. Now, when you have a robber, you wanna tie them up. I'm gonna teach you a trick that you can show and fool people with. So you have a piece of string, any string will do. I have this, this string here. And the trick is as follows. You say to the person, can you tie a knot in this string 
without removing your hands from either end. And they'll sit there and they'll go like this and they'll try to, but their hands are going to get in the way. But if you, they start out like this, where they have their hands wrapped like this, and they grab one end with this hand, and they grab this end with this hand, and then this is where the magic begins. You start to pull, and you pull, and you pull, until you have a knot without removing your two hands from either end of the string. Thank you, boys and girls, for attending um, this virtual um, event, and I hope to see you next week. Thank you again, and be sure to log those books in the 313 Reading Challenge. Goodbye!